Oh, this is a happy boy. All right, so this is what we're working with here. We have a Magnaflow exhaust. I bought it off a guy who uh, had it on his 350. He bought it for his dad or whatever, and uh, he basically put like 20 miles on it, and I was able to buy it off him for a really good deal. And my intention were to sell it for a profit, but that didn't work out. So we're going to throw it on the car, and hopefully it sounds good. The only way of keeping it, if it's louder, but there's some nice pipes here. Garbage, not garbage. <laughs> Glue here. Um, so we kind of ran into problems where the bolts were like super rusted so uh, we used some liquid wrench on them and hopefully that's going to help but it is going to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt than we originally thought. So far we're like 40 minutes in. But I actually didn't remember that I had a resonator still so this exhaust should make it quite a bit louder which I am really looking forward to. This is <laughs> called the wiggle. Okay. This is my first time ever. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. So, the problem we're running into, oh, it's a dark one, holding on, this whole rear muffler are being a bitch, so <laughs> <laughs> we're spraying them with a bunch of, uh, ah, I got oh, it. that stuff. Penetrating oil. Sponsor us, please. Okay, <laughs> uh, but it's penetrating the bolt, so it will not, or it will make them a lot more easier for them to come out. And we can get this whole piece of shit off because it's being a real bitch right now. And then once that's off, taking this whole resonator pipe off, which should loud up the car a bunch. And then is that the only thing, or is there another pipe that we have to take off? Nope. There's, there's only two pipes. pipes. Yep. Only two big board pipes. For this pipes. section, the new one has three pipes. Uh, we're gonna assemble the mid pipe so that way when we get the uh, when we get the rear muffler or all the pipes off we can just put that in without having to assemble it under the car. This me. Yes! Dude, it's it's almost there. Please! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> It's there. It's there. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh, you see that? You see that? A good hey, thing camera. to always do. Important bolts. Always keep them in a container so you won't lose them in the garage. And then if you ever need them again, that shit will come back. Wait, no, it'll still be in the container. Hey right, guys, so we spent like an hour and a half trying to get two bolts off of this exhaust because they're like super rusted and super uh, corroded. Uh, so we spent that liquid rage and stuff like that and then we broke one of them and one of them came out okay But either way we got it done and now we're time to pull this off the hanger and drop it Yeah, 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 all right Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> there has been so much shit that's fallen off this car What have you guys been doing? Nothing! <laughs> Fucking getting off two bolts <laughs> I think I snapped it? No, you didn't. Huh? Did you snap it? I think so. You fucking hard. How the So, we uh, took the exhaust off the car and now we went into town because, I, as you know, earlier we broke some bolts and now we're gonna come back and replace those. And uh, just a thing to keep in mind that you're gonna probably need uh, a new gasket for your exhaust if your exhaust has been on there any more than a year, which is almost all of them. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna throw that on there and uh, head back home, get a little bit cheat, head back home and uh, hopefully finish up the exhaust. So hopefully no more problems. That's just a good pipe. That's a good pipe. Well, oh, I could be, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 well, well, <laughs> so we just pulled out the stock exhaust, um, it was really hard and took a very very long time. But these hangers that they come on are uh, terrible. So I'll show you a little trick on how to get those off. As for getting these uh, rubber hangers off, 
We found that the best way was to use a pair of uh, pliers like this, and then put one side on this metal part, one side on this, and then, it's hard to do with one hand, but just squeeze and it slowly pulls it right off. It takes a little bit of effort and muscle, but you get the point and just do that to all of them. And that's the easiest way to get those off, otherwise it's really hard. So at the moment we're fixing a mistake I made because I like wrenched something off a bolt. I basically broke, broke a bolt in half and now we are drilling it out in order to set it with a new bolt and washer setup, even though we didn't need to because it's rubber hangers and I really broke up. No guys, sometimes things just don't go to plan. So it's late, we just got done taking the exhaust out pretty much. We're about to put the new one in. The problem we had... The problem is I broke a bolt with something up in here and so we uh, spent like half the time trying to grind that away and then uh, put in a new bolt. But now we know we're gonna, how we're gonna put it back in and so hopefully by putting in the mid pipe and the back part first it will, uh, or in the front part first will be okay. All right guys, it's like 11 o'clock. Basically nothing has gone right, let me show you. So it's in, kinda. Um, there's a hanger up here that I could not get to work, and so we have now zip tied it. That's a temporary solution though. I'm gonna get a hanger that fits. And then this side we had to find another bolt and uh, drill through the, oh, come on, focus. Drill through part of the car. And then we're just finishing up up there. So, yeah. we're kind of done, but kind of not. We're going to probably start it, go home, and then we'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> it sounds so good. It's so much louder. It sounds so much better. It's a little different. I mean, it's Magnaflow. It's not Nismo. It's not JDM. But I like it a lot. Um, like I said though, nothing's permanent. We still have a lot more work to do. Catch you tomorrow. All right, welcome back. It's about two days later. Um, the exhaust is finally done. We'll accept one more piece, but I'll show you guys. So the most important thing about doing this exhaust is gonna be uh, making sure uh, you get some stuff on those bolts right before you start even doing it. So maybe the night before, I'd start soaking those bolts in some uh, like liquid wrench or something like that. And then on your hangers, you're gonna wanna use WD-40 because it makes it so much easier to get those off and you just slip those right off. And um, other than that, it was a pretty simple install. Kind of, actually, we had a lot of problems. Never mind. But it should be a simple install and only take a couple hours unless you have a bunch of rusty pieces and you snap some bolts like I did. But other than that, um, like I said, it's CapEx starting from there all the way back. Getting a new exhaust kind of makes you fall back in love with your car. This low end sounds so amazing. Here, let me get a cold start real quick. so much quieter now and now it's just so loud and not obnoxious yet it's not raspy vq's get raspy this is not the only uh real issue that we had was uh this hanger back here uh there's one up here that goes up into the bumper uh on your on the left side that we weren't able to uh get to fit properly so uh i have it zip tied right now but in the future we're gonna when i come back home i'm not taking this car back to wisconsin we're gonna use one of these hangers right here. And uh, since the thing is perpendicular with these holes, so one comes in from the side, one goes in from the front, we're gonna drill a hole to the side and uh, mount it up like that. Cause the one that comes on the car isn't long enough and so that should uh, help us out and then uh, the exhaust should be able to mount up like that. I know I didn't record this video as well as I've done some others. It was just a big chaotic mess, but thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys at the next one. Hopefully, uh, these new pipes sound pretty good. I freaking love them. I'd like to uh, announce our sponsorship by Budweiser, even though beer is ass. Okay. What is that? Shut up, kid. <laughs> He's a fucking smurf. <laughs>